Greetings photography friends. I wanted to share a new tripod cell phone adapter mount with you all. There's quite a few on Amazon and I wanted to particularly share this FOC Pro from Fan Ying Tech. I had wanted to buy one that matched more closely to the Mi Photo branded, very well machined, articulating back with a nice opening for a variety of cell phone sizes. However, the Mi Photo brand is just not available on Amazon right now. And I needed another adapter. So this is the model that I came up with. And the reason for wanting to do the review is that the pictures and the video on the Amazon shopping cart don't show some of the best features about this. I probably went through a dozen or more different types of metal phone adapters. And I actually bought a couple of other ones recently. Uh, one of them immediately went back. It didn't stand up on its own without a, a tripod. So that immediately got kicked out. Plus it was a little on the heavy side. It, it was not as good as the Mi Photo. And one of the things I like about the Mi Photo is that its base was wide enough so that when I put the cell phone on top of the mount, that even if I didn't have the tripod connected, it would still stay up and stand up on its own. So that was one of uh, the criteria that I wanted. Now, one of the things that separated the field on quite a few of the models, and if this isn't a big deal to you, you might go with a little bit smaller one, but this one opened up to one of the widest openings of 3.7 inches. Now on my iPhone 13, I went with the smaller model instead of the big plus size that uh, I went with for a number of years. Uh, for a variety of reasons. Now on iPhone 12, Apple made it where you just had to go with the Max, but thankfully on the 13, they came back in with the best cameras on the Pro, uh, the 13 Pro. So you didn't have to go with the Max to get the best camera. So I immediately opted for the smaller version. Uh, so one of the things that I liked about this was that it's way that it opens up. So even on the Mi Photo, to go back and forth from a smaller phone, and I, I employ several cell phones when I'm doing time lapses and different video projects and uh, cell phone photography. I might have one cell phone just taking a video time lapse. But one of the things that I didn't like about this is that if I went from one cell phone to another one, I had to adjust both of them down to the smaller cell phone case and then back open. So this was not immediately obvious while shopping on Amazon but there's this wheel on the back and when you opened it up, the whole mount changed its size. So you could uh, do the fine adjustment if necessary, but to change back and fo forth from a large phone to the small phone, all you had to do was turn this little wheel and set it back and forth between the two and the largest size. So I'm recording with my iPhone 13 right now and I'm gonna show you how this particular mount works with the iPhone 8 right here. So uh, once you lock it down, it's got a nice rubber grip around the edge right here. So your fingers have something tactile to grab and hold onto. And another thing that I liked about this is the slant and the rubber grip of the mount. There were some that didn't have this feature. And if it's flat right there, your phone can easily fall out as you're changing the mount. So uh, with photography with your cell phone you can record either this way or this way this one you have to be careful because it blocks the access to your buttons but there's been some situations where I am recording and I need my camera facing off the back like this but more often than not I'm going to mount I'm gonna go ahead and expand this all the way open and then I'm gonna drop in the cell phone Expand that out. Now, when I'm using the OtterBox, I do like to mount just a little bit beyond the center, especially if I'm using the iPhone 13 because of the ultra wide angle. That's not an issue on the iPhone 8 or any other camera with a uh, standard lens, or if I know that I'm not using the ultra wide angle. All right, so one of the features of this particular cell phone adapter mount is that it does come with the Arca style mount so that it slides into the top of the tripod. 
And then we have the ability to articulate at two different points, one with the tripod. This one I will put a link for in the uh, description, but I've been very pleased with this purchase as well. Just an economy tripod. I do like name brand tripods, but for the usefulness for a cell phone, uh, I wouldn't necessarily put a DSLR on top of uh, this tripod, but it certainly works wonders with the lightweight utility of a cell phone. So once I lock this into position, I can either articulate from the tripod or from the top of the tripod cell phone adapter. So the other thing that I wanted to show you about this that I'm particularly pleased with and, and wanted to recommend this to you all is that the foot in standard mode is not big enough to support the cell phone without having it on top of the tripod. But it's got this little, little nifty foot that is magnetically attached. And so far it hasn't been a problem, but it's also got a magnet right here as well. And so that goes in there and just in quick practice so far, that's enough to counterbalance and keep the tripod set up. Now, as it's showing right now, the tripod is a little off weight, but uh, if you are going to use this without an actual tripod, you would want to center it a little bit better so that the weight of the cell phone does not topple over. But in just quick practice, it, it supported it well enough that I would trust that if I did not have my cell phone uh, or tripod around. Now, uh, the other usual features that are well documented in some of the other reviews, it's got the different sizes in case you have a more traditional tripod without a quick release foot. I use this quite frequently when I'm hiking and I just need a little tripod to go with me. So uh, overall, very pleased with this, uh, economically priced and uh, look for the link down below and look for another video forthcoming about why I use OtterBox without fail. And also eventually I'll put another video about the tripods specifically. All right, hope you enjoyed and hope this benefits you all. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll reply back as soon as possible. All right, take care.